Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is the first product review of 2022. And of course, I had to start it off with the faves, Curl Smith. Today's video is sponsored by Curl Smith because guess what? They just launched a new line, a whole new line, a whole new line. Can you tell that my son has been making me watch Aladdin over and over? Introducing the new Curl Smith Fragrance Free Shine Line. This is a big deal because pretty much 96% of my audience that actually went out and bought Curl Smith products love it. But really, the only people that might not be a fan of Curl Smith is because they have a very sensitive scalp or they're sensitive to fragrance. They just can't deal with any scents. And Curl Smith are some of the best smelling products out there. So I understand if you don't like fragrance or a certain scent, why you might have a little bit of issue with Curl Smith products because they do smell amazing. But this line is literally for you. Now you could join the fun of the Curl Smith party but now everything is fragrance free. And they really hooked you up with like a whole line of products, including a shampoo, a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, a jelly that's a level six hold, and a gel that's a strong hold level nine. So they got you pretty much covered on everything that you really need in your routine. Maybe in the future, maybe they'll give us a fragrance free mask, maybe a fragrance free cream. We'll see. Those would be the only things that would be like missing from a full fragrance free line. But I think this is a great start. Now, for those of you that are joining my new challenge this year, which is the hairstyle challenge, I know what you're thinking, Bianca, your hair's down. You're breaking the rules. It's only the second video. I know, I know. But I just feel like when I'm reviewing products, you're gonna wanna see how my hair looks down because if it's all up and away, like you don't really know how well my hair turned out because it's like hiding in a bun or a ponytail or something like that. So I just wanted to have it down to show you real results. But the styles are coming. Don't you worry. Without further ado, let's get in the shower and see how well these products work. Let's start off with the new Curl Smith Shine Recipe Fragrance Free Shine Shampoo. This is actually a pretty thick shampoo. It has a little bit of a gooey texture to it, kind of like a flaxseed, if you will. And it does smell like nothing. So the fragrance free part is true. You literally can't smell anything. But this is a gentle, light foaming cleanser. So this is actually best to use on a day where you don't need like a full deep cleanse, maybe like an in-between wash day, something light and easy, definitely not stripping at all. The entire Shine recipe is vegan, cruelty-free, color safe, has no perfumes, sulfates, or silicones. And all these products are dermologically, have I ever said that before, dermologically? Yes, dermologically tested. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little extra scrub in there using my Curl Smith Scalp Massaging Brush, but this shampoo is infused with their unique blend of natural ingredients like lemon peel, jasmine, and hops. This shampoo will gently and effectively remove the dirt, build up, and pollution that can dull your hair, and it will restore that natural shine. Once I rinsed out the shampoo, I then grabbed the Fragrance Free Shine Conditioner. This is for silky smooth detangling. Still has no smell, so Everything is true thus far. And this is infused with Babasu, Muromuru, and Shea, a unique blend of naturally shining, enhancing ingredients. This is a very lightweight conditioner, so it's not too heavy, it won't weigh down your hair. It had a pretty decent slip. I did end up grabbing my Be Hairful brush because my hair was super tangled. I just wanted to make it a little bit faster, but I was able to easily detangle. And even before I added any of my styling products, you can see that my hair looks really shiny, right out the shower. Alrighty, now that I am fresh out the shower, we have three different stylers to try. So in this fragrance-free collection, there is a fragrance-free shine cream leave-in conditioner, a lightweight conditioner. There's also a fragrance-free shine jelly frizz control lightweight flexible hold jelly. And then there's also a shine gel which is a level nine stronghold. <laughs> I like a stronghold. But I'm gonna start off with the leave-in conditioner. It says lightweight, which is what I like for my fine hair. I don't like anything too heavy. 
I'm gonna add just a little bit of this mainly on my ends. It smells like nothing still. Let's see how shiny my hair can get. Smoothing that in. Yeah, it is very lightweight. Just adding some extra moisture. This is not a cream styler, but a leave-in conditioner. And I know that because I know what a leave-in conditioner is for, but it also says right here, for definition and frizz control, follow with your favorite Curl Smith stylers. If you follow me, you should have learned this by now, that a leave-in is not for frizz fighting and definition, it's just for moisture. It's just a conditioner that you leave in. Now this says this will give you shine for all hair types. It's claiming to work for every type of texture from straight to super curly. This recipe will help boost hair's natural radiance for a silky soft finish that's full of shine. Suitable for fine hair and sensitive scalps. I agree. Now that my leave-in is in place, what should I do? Should I use the jelly or the stronghold? <sighs> On day one, I need my hair to dry a little bit faster because we are going from soaking wet hair. So then I'm gonna go with the shine gel today. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, Bianca went for the stronghold. Now this is a level nine, meaning it's technically one step lower of a hold than the in shower style fixer. In shower style fixer is level 10. So if this is anything compared to that style fixer, I'm going to like it. I love squeeze bottles. These are my favorite types of bottles. I actually wish that even the shampoo and conditioner were in these types of bottles. Just a little note from Bianca Renee today. Just makes it so easy. Smooth, smooth, and scrunch. Now the consistency is pretty thick. Like, it's, it's a thicky thick. But it's not as sticky as the in-shower style fixer, so. I really think this will be a nice alternative if the in-shower is just a little too strong for you. But we'll see how this dries. All right, now this is not a first impression for me. I've been trying out these products for a while now. The first time I tried this, I used the leave-in conditioner and the jelly together. And then I refreshed using something crazy. I used a jelly and a gel. <laughs> I usually don't think that there's a point to ever using two gels, but after I applied this, I wanted a little bit more hold that day. So I put a little bit more of this on top. But I have yet to go from the leave-in straight to the stronghold gel so let's see how this little combo works out and then i'll see which way i like to wear these the best so i'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then i'll come back and show you the final results and i'm back pretty quickly because my hair is already dried to a little bit of a cast a little little crunch that's what we want before we diffuse. So this did dry almost as fast as the in-shower style fixer. I also think it took a little bit longer because I put the leave-in conditioner first. Anytime you add more moisture, it might take a little bit longer to dry. But I'm very happy with how quickly the cast formed. So now let's diffuse and make it bigger. The shine is real. Do you see that? It is shining, 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 yeah. I like. The cast is still kind of there, even though I diffuse, so the hold is good. I feel like this gel would last me like throughout the week to where I wouldn't have to add too much tomorrow or the next day, which is what I like. I do want to see if I can get it a little bit bigger. My day one hair is always like the flattest because it is the most defined, shiny, moisturized, very minimal frizz. But I want to make it a little bit bigger because volume's my thing. So I'm gonna add the Curlsmith bonding oil, just a couple drops, just to add shine on top of this shine. I mean, you saw that it was shiny before, so this line definitely works. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I just ruined the whole fragrance-free thing. Oopsies. <laughs> Okay, if you don't like scents or fragrances, don't add the oil because this is the best smelling oil of all time. Otherwise, just stop at the last step and just keep scrunching or diffusing. But this will help break the cast. And I'm gonna fluff it out a little bit. Most people are like, don't touch your curls. Be gentle. Then there's me. Can't be afraid of a little frizz. That's how you get the volume. I stretch and we stretch. Elongate. 
separate the curls. Oh, my hair feels so clean though. Like I feel every individual curl detangled. No knots. And then we flip forward. fluffing step is major key oh <laughs> yes. loving it do I even have a pick do we have a pick to top it off raise the roots the roots the roots the roots aren't on fire because I clean my scalp so nothing burns all right so I mean when I go a little bit crazy I do create a little bit of frizz but it's okay we get the volume on day one. Um, this is, this is, am I gonna have to talk about this in every video? This is just my little like postpartum annoyance. I hate it, it drives me crazy. Let's try a little bit of that shine jelly. Put a little jelly on that. Go away, go away, it's better. And there you have it, my final results using the entire Curlsmith Shine recipe. These are my concluding thoughts on all the products. Shampoo, it is fragrance free, did a great job. This is a gentle, light foaming shampoo. So instead of using this on like a day eight wash day like I did today, I'd probably use this on a lighter cleanse day where I don't need too much of a deep clean. If you need a deep clean, I'd probably go for my Curlsmith scalp recipe line for those days I need to just regenerate my scalp. But on those in-between wash days where you see like a nice gentle cleanse, this is a great option for a shampoo. The conditioner had a decent slip, made my hair feel very moisturized and very shiny even before I put in my styling products. The jelly versus the gel. The jelly is a much lighter hold. So I'd probably use the jelly on its own versus with the cream just so I can get a little bit more of a hold. But I also did try the jelly with a little bit of the gel on top and they did work very well together. So it just depends on your preference. If you're a strong hold girl like me, get the level nine. If you like a more medium soft hold, get the jelly at a level six. And the fragrance free shine cream leave-in conditioner is very lightweight. Great for those of us that have fine hair, can have anything too heavy to weigh it down. This might even be lighter than the weightless air dry cream, in my opinion. Either just as light or lighter. I'm thinking lighter. All these Curlsmith products are available now on the Curlsmith website. So if you wanna give them a try for yourself, you've been waiting for a fragrance-free line, make sure you use my link in the description box and use my promo code to save some money. And before you go, let's end it off with a little bit of Jesus because if you did not know, Curlsmith adds a Bible verse on all of their products. So the little recipe number is actually a Bible verse. But if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. But let's read one because they always correlate with the bottles and it's just, I think it's fun to check it out. So on the shampoo, the Shine shampoo, it says recipe number Matthew 516. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? So, spoiler alert, I did check all of them and they all have the word shine somewhere in the verse. If you want to read them, buy the products, check them out. It's just a little, a little treat. If you enjoy my videos and wait for the Bianca Renee Today approval before you buy your products, this products are Bianca Renee approved, so happy shopping. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also should follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.